Hi guys, I'm Sammy. I'm a second year Biz Econ major, and I'm running on the platform of member retention and member satisfaction this year. Um, I believe that just as Jeremy stated, that Fusion is really only offering half of what is advertised. Fusion is a social engineering club, and really only the social aspect is being offered. Um, may, I feel like many of the members, as an intern this year and getting to know many of the members, uh, I feel like many of them believe that they join the club to take advantage of engineering opportunities with their friends, but they fell short, the, the engineering opportunities fell short. Um, I want to, as IVP, I want to work with the interns, with the board members as well as interns to, um, to create more opportunities such as uh, internships from fall quarter, uh, making sure that our general members are aware of important internships that they would want to join. Um, I want to also uh, work with the work with EVP and and specifically EVP and the rest of the board to establish uh, quarterly projects that our general members would want to participate in, like engineering projects that would require like help from a professor, for example. Um, uh, transitioning to like general members, I, I want to uh, I want to work with activities to kind of make sure help our fans be feel more like fans. I, I want to make sure that um, like. So the problem that I see with the member retention is that if people don't come out to the general meetings, then it's going to trickle down to the FAMS, to the Fusion Fridays, to the to FTech, to Fusing. So that's why things have gotten canceled, is because for many reasons our members don't want to keep coming, the ones that have the opportunity to come. So I want to work with specifically activities, specifically EVP, to develop these opportunities that people would want to take advantage of. Oh, um, so you said you had the idea of um, making fans feel like fans. Uh, how do you plan on implementing that? Well, making fans feel like fans. Uh, I want to I want the fam heads to be able to work with activities to make it easier for them to hang out with their fam. So I would also want to bring treasure in so we can help because it seems a lot of the fam I feel like a lot of the fam heads have trouble being creative with their hangouts because it is, it can get expensive, especially if certain fans if certain fans are more stacked than others, so for example, I want to make sure that the car distribution is equal among all fans, so that so that all fans can have fun equally. Um, and I want I want treasure and activities to I, I want like some of the Fusion Fridays to be fan specific, uh, so that. Fans feel like fans. How would you deal with inactive families? Uh, with inactive families, I would first of all talk with uh, the fam heads and see what the issue is. Are they stressed out with academics? Is that why they can't hang out with their fans? Um, ideally, there would be no inactive fans because uh, I want to implement a system where the way we organize fans is we have people choose a buddy in the beginning and then we can randomize the fans from there so that 
there would be less of a problem where someone doesn't want to be in a fam. Be there wouldn't be that problem because they already have a friend in that fam. So it would be like, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, being an intern this year, what do you think are what do you think could change in the program? Uh, I think the internship program needs to start from the beginning. I feel like uh, externals need uh, interns should be forced to do externals right from fall quarter. Um, I believe that the way I would um, work with my interns is. I would talk to them in the beginning of fall quarter and see how, what type of uh, management style they would like from me. Because some of them might want really hands off, some of them might want to be really hands on and need a lot of help in the beginning. Uh, I would work with each intern um, individually on that aspect. And I, I want the interns to feel, to feel like board members because that's what they should be doing or like an extension of board. Uh, I don't want them to feel like they're just people who are general members who are kind of forced to go to some activities. Uh, I want them to feel some of the pressure that board feels. Hi everyone, my name is Rylan Manuel. I'm a second year business economics major. Um, I'm planning a minor in statistics and I am running for eternal vice president. The reason I'm running is because I want to get back to Fuji because it has a special place in like my growth here in college in UCI. I wanted to expand as much as I did from the past two years I've been in it. I know I jointly I was in the internship program when um, I was I first got introduced into Fusion. But I know you can grow and I can grow with it, with um, allowing me to work in board again as a team. I believe I'm qualified because I already have experience in board. I know how it works, I know what we do, the feedback we give, what we should do every week. And how I will, how I will change IVP is focus on its two main programs, which is the family program and the internship program. And I plan to do that by ensuring that members that want to be in those programs are dedicated and also make sure that they get the ex uh, full experience from those two programs. what common interests they have, see like how social they are, make sure like they're new people too because the whole point of FAMS is to let them meet new people and make new memories for them because as IVP, the main goal is to make, make sure that every general member is like happy, like we get what we give um, as Fusion. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Like you said, you were an intern last year. Um, how do you? But you saw what the internship program was this year. Uh, how would you change it? Um, what I saw from the internship program this year is the fact that it wasn't really close to the board. Like, I know that. Um, sorry, hold on. It wasn't close to the board. Like, and it felt like we were just giving interns tasks. Like, oh, just do this and. You're good as an intern, but I feel like we should push it to like give those interns a professional experience that will impact them, will make them become board members, will be in like other orgs to expand themselves professionally. Um, 
Well, the key is communication, because without communication, you can't really get anything done. So I would um, communicate with other board members and the board member um, involved in the conflict. Inactive fams. I would see what what's the reason why they're inactive and try to push for things they could do like activities, um, hangouts, and encourage the fam heads to do the same thing because the fam heads should be leading the fams. All right, hey guys. Um, my name is Jeremy. I'm running for you guys as a future. IVP. I know that IVP is pretty much, I guess, in my case, the father of fusion. Uh, you want to maintain the happiness of the general members. Uh, with that being said, you want to be the ears and the voice of the general members. And with that, you are also the, essentially the character, you give the character of fusion because you're taking all the suggestions from uh, either unhappy or happy general members and you're bringing it out there, trying to appeal to the gen general members. Um, what I think is uh, we should definitely improve upon the internship program. Uh, we definitely, for the past two years, we, as an intern, I was looking for something more to do. Uh, this year, I know the interns were also struggling for something else to do. Uh, whether or not we are able to provide a big event or task, to give the interns, that is based on next year's board. Uh, another thing is that I want to be able to have ways to, if a family does become inactive, how do you bring that family back from, uh, not the grave, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, what other ways can we make it where the families are more connected, and why does it always, that also does need to be improved. Uh, we could... <coughs> so... Um. Okay, um, so this year on board, you were, um, an you were on appointed board, and now you are now running for an executive position, which is a little more responsibilities. So why do you think you're ready to take on this? Okay, so the reason I feel like I am ready to take on a more prominent role in Fusion is because I felt like I did grow out of that shell. I need to now find a new place, a new thing where I could be like, yeah, now I have another limit that I should be able to break. Uh, that is a big reason why I am going for exec board. I feel like I have grown and I need to keep growing. And in order to do that, I will take this Higher position. Uh, how will you deal with uh, an inactive intern? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for an inactive intern, um, I think it goes back to, of course, you need to know what they're going through. We have to know. Uh, how to deal with the situation. Every situation is different. Uh, I see that if they are slacking, they do have to know it is a full-time commitment. And if they cannot hold that end of the bargain, they would have to be cut out as well. Um, it's harsh, but if one person is slacking, everyone else sort of bags on that person. Uh, or they just despise when they do lack in their job. Okay, so for interns, I would have a cap to almost match the board numbers, um, but it has to be where they are fully committed. I need to know that they are fully committed. I, I, have to, I would have to schedule a meeting with them, see if they're really willing to do it. Uh, I would 
keep track of their progress and eventually my selection. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Jade Lamb and I'm running for IVP for next year for Fusion. Um, just a little background about myself. I am a returning fourth year, so the years before I didn't really click with any organization within UCI, so when I came back it was really hard for me to fit in anywhere. Not only that being said, I was also, I am also an introverted extrovert, so I only feel comfortable when I get to know people. And the fact that Fusion made me feel at home during the first meeting, it made me come back and it just made me feel welcome. And I think that's what the role of not only IVP, but the entire board should do. But I'm just going into IVP, so I'm going to explain why I believe I would be a good runner up, not runner up, a good person for IVP. Um, so, in that being said, I just want to go in a little bit about my position. I know I haven't really been that active this year in Fusion, but that main reason is because I'm a returning student and I've been on an academic contract for that. And I wanted to prioritize my academics to focus on making sure I stay here. Now that I know I can stay, I want to be able to give back to the organization that has become my home. Um, with that being said, some of the things that I believe IVP are in charge of are intern program, family system, uh, general membership happiness, and also board member happiness. That being said, I have a lot of ideas to improving these and just make sure that the status of our club is at a good status. That way, not only I can help the president make sure that the club grows, um, but also make sure that any, everyone is enjoying their experience. Um, with that being said, I think it really determines on interpersonal relationships. For that, interpersonal relationships is how everyone works together, and this is what IVP's main job is, is to make sure that everyone's happy. And in order to know that everyone's happy, you need that interpersonal relationship with everyone. Um, yeah, I think that this position can really help me grow because I do have social anxiety. Um, I want to also give back, so this is why I'm running. And uh, how would you deal with an inactive family? Um, I think this always happens in every single year. One family is very inactive, and that could be because of the members with inside, how active your fam heads are. So if I can see that a family's inactive, I'll probably prompt it to the fam heads first and ask them, oh, are you guys not putting out as many events? Or why do you feel that your members aren't coming out? That would be my first thing. And then after that, I feel like I would probably prompt it to the members too. There's a reason why we have um, families. That reason is to make sure that everyone gets the experience that they want. And if if family's inactive, a member might be missing that experience. Because for me personally, I can't go to all the meetings if I'm focusing on schoolwork. So I go to family events. So I want to make sure that it's not inactive. Thank you. Uh, being an intern this year, how do you think you can improve it for next? Um, being an intern, I really got a glimpse of what being a board member is, but on that same page, I only got a glimpse. So to me, being an intern is, I'm going into this experience thinking that I'm being groomed for next year. But if I only get a glimpse, I really don't get that grooming that should have been. Like, I'm getting prepared, right? If I only get a glimpse, I'm not really prepared for what a board member is. We're only scratching the surface. So I think for me, it's important to have a schedule with the board member to make sure that you're, you have objectives to what an intern wants out of the experience and what you as a board member want your intern to have. 
in case they want to go into that future position. Um, so, um, wait, no, I have a question. Um, so being IVP requires a lot, like, a lot of, like, being social and, um, being able to, uh, make sure that everyone is happy, like you said, so that includes board members, general members, families, stuff like that. Um, and you did mention that you did have, you do have some anxiety, so how do you plan on, um, dealing with that while continuing to be social? I believe that there is a reason there's a board. You're part of a team. If you feel like you have an anxiety, this is why I say this is a growing position for me, is because I want to grow out of that. And if I want to grow, I know that I might need help, so this is where I can reach out for help. Um, that is how I'll probably deal with it, because I know whoever is going to be on next year's board will build those relationships to where I can. Um, all of you went to a uh, winter retreat this year. How do you think it could be prevention? Well, I believe winter retreat could be improved if uh, we work with activities more and we we establish like we make some activities that like a little bigger activities that people would want to do uh, I, I would want it would, it's nice to be a mix of some bigger activities and downtime for people to like, bond and um, get to know each other but like an activity such as like a scavenger hunt by the lake would be something I'd try to implement for next, so, next year. I think that this winter retreat went out great. I just think that sometimes um, there were kind of conflicts with families and with that being said, it is where families also get to spend time with all their members. And if there's conflicts, it doesn't work out with the whole retreat. So I believe that I, as IVP, I should work with those fam heads. Another thing is that all board members should understand what their role is and job is. Um, because there are some times when problems come up and I feel like it should be everyone's job to understand how to resolve it, not just IVP. I definitely think that uh, we should have more bonding activities. Uh, I feel like it was sort of lackluster when uh, we only got the one really bonding activity. I really would want to see more of that. Um, I think another thing was when we had to take separate cars and one of the groups split up, I think we should all sort of cluster together, more or less, uh, stay within each other's sights, uh, so we would be able to get to know everybody. Um, from what I remember from winter retreat, winter retreat this court, uh, year, is that there was well, too much free time. Too much to the point where people would just go to their natural cliques with um, their friends. So I feel like there should be a balance between activities related to the entire club and to their friends. Because you can't really get close to someone unless it's in small groups, not large groups. Critique the current position holder. Um, I think the current position holder did a great job at her position, but I believe that interns were left a little, uh, were left out a little bit. Um, I feel like there wasn't as strong of a presence as I expected, as an intern right now, as I expected from the beginning. Um, I believe uh, Fam, fans could have been organized a little neater. Uh, but other than, other than that, I have no criticism. Uh, what I think could be approved upon is 
Um, being more present within the activities, I feel like um, the current position holder was in the background more often. I feel like since she is mostly dealing with general members, fans, and interns, you should be more upfront and more accessible to everybody. Adding on to that, I do believe that one of our goals this year should have been member retention, and I felt that there was a little bit of lacking in that. Um, I could see in the beginning there was a lot of effort, but towards the end of the year it was kind of dying down. And I think as our club, we want that member retention to grow a little bit because as IVP, I want to support the president's view in making this club grow. And if we don't have members, we won't really have the club to grow. So. Um. I think the only issue I saw for the current position holder was the internship program and I think also the, the families too. It could have been organized better and I feel like they could have like I feel like she could have been more active towards um like communicating with the interns. Um knowing what the general members want, because Fusion is all about giving back to the um, mem general members for, um, in Filipino aspects and engineering aspects. Uh, besides shadowing board members, what ways do you have to help potentially, no, to help the interns potentially run the board? Like, what activities would you have to give them the skill set um, I would make everything that the interns are doing now, uh, make them do in the beginning of the year, somewhere in fall quarter, that seems at a point where they've learned enough that they can do it. So I would try to make them, my goal would be one intern meeting a quarter, um, and then maybe spring and winter and spring uh, fundraisers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would want uh, interns to run their own board meeting uh, with board supervision. Um, uh, that's it. I think adding on to that, it would be beneficial, like I said, to in the beginning before your internship even begins to establish what kind of objectives you want out of this internship and what you feel would be beneficial to your growth uh, when you become a board member and as a board member establish what your role is to the intern and then try to make sure those objectives are achieved by the end of fall quarter. By that time an intern should at least have an understanding of what their perspective uh, board member role that they want to play and then in winter quarter it's where the same place that we said that these the things that they learn can be applied and I also believe that it should they should have the same responsibilities at least a week to understand what a board member does. Adding on to what they said already um I think I would want the interns to push for more incentive uh, initiation because I feel like even though board should reach out, I feel like also the interns should also reach out to board members. They, they should also they should really like just push for it. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Because in the end, that's what you're sort of going to have to do when you want that research or that job. You're going to have to push for it. You're going to have to keep asking for it. So I feel like I would want the interns to push for what they have to do. Uh, to me, I think the internship, the interns should be treated like their own board because they're going to be working together, they're going to be talking to each other. So they should be a little hands off at times, but for the most part, they should also um, work with the current board.
and help them reach their goals of what they want out of the internship program, such as getting interpersonal skills, because that's a big thing from our internship program, which is like communication, teamwork, that kind of stuff. Um, regarding the family systems, what's your process for choosing heads and subheads? Uh, my process on choosing heads and subheads would be uh, I would want one, two heads. Just how I explained earlier, uh, I want like the, the way to create my system of creating fans is people choose, the, the people are in a pair. And then, so when if we randomly place them in a fan, at least they have one person who they're friends with and who will push them to fan hangouts. I want to do the same thing with fan heads. And I want to make sure that uh, cars are distributed evenly among fan heads so that there's less pressure when, if there's one fan with only one car, that's very difficult to organize anything. Um, Adding on to that, I have been getting feedback from a lot of people who believe that family systems should be more randomized. Um, I also believe that though there's an application process, I would like an interview process to understand why this person wants to be a fam head other than their application because it gives you more of who they are as a person and by that judgment, you can understand their motivation behind it instead of them just applying just because their friends are in it. Um, because FAMHEAD is one of the main ways that uh, the family system can be held up. And if you have FAMHEADs who do not, are not as motivated, then your family system will not do as well as it should be. Agreeing with what they have said, uh, definitely randomize uh, members, uh, fam, fam members, but agreeing with uh, Sammy, uh, with the two pairs of heads mashing with your, I guess, I guess you could say your friend, uh, it definitely gives the other incentive to hang out with that one extra person if that is the rule of next year's uh, meeting, but other than that, I think it is spot on. Um, I also think that FAMS should be randomized because, like I said earlier, the point of FAMS is to get you know, new people and make memories of them and stuff like that. And to do that, I would ensure that you have cars because without cars, you can't really do much in a FAM. Like, I know there's like the UTC to walk around and stuff, but the whole point of FAMS is to get close and stuff. And Besides randomizing the fans, there should be like just a small handful of people that already know each other so that they could start the time going. So.